We are at the beginning of a technological revolution. Technology offers the possibility of revolutionary positive change. Truth is an aspiration, not a possession. If you want to have a successful life and you want to be happy, you have to have good relationships. And the absolute key to having good relationships is to be vulnerable. Do you want to join me on a journey into the brain? The bottom line of democracy is not to follow the will, it's to deliberate. Probably the most universally understood problem is just the decline in civility on the internet. Well, I think we have to remember that some of the, these problems do go back a very long way. War is no longer conceivable for the solution of political differences. Insecurity in one place is insecurity everywhere. We are building fences. We are uh, keeping people up where they are because we don't want them to come. I'm trying to reach out for all the refugees there, knowing that 50% of them are underage. Until we stop looking at refugees and immigrants as a problem and start accepting human mobility as a new norm, we will never deal with this issue effectively. I'm going over this bump and I grab the steering wheel and bang! And I, and I have the steering wheel in my hand. And I look up. I'm like, shit, Nico, this is a difficult situation. <laughs> For those of you who are football fans, you'll be well aware of the Carlo Ancelotti eyebrow. Cannot control it. <laughs> he said, what you've done is easy. And I looked at him like, what? Like, you know? <laughs> It's really cool to see the power of artificial intelligence combined with the knowledge that Google has. Be my Vietnamese translator. I lost my luggage in the train. Way more than 100 million people play our games every single day. Sort of a mobile platform and the App Store has sort of democratized distribution. Something like this is, is possible. This democratization of this technology is profound. The longer term, more fascinating trend that really will change um, the way our children grow up fundamentally is the AR yeah. revolution. Yeah, the mixing and, and meshing of basically real and digital worlds. Through technology, we can help open doors. And we need a new kind of tool, a new kind of intelligence that is distributed, that is scaled, that is accessible to try and make sense of some of the complexity that is overwhelming us. This technology is about rewriting the language of life. Is there any hope? Of course there's hope. I think that it's impossible not to be an optimist if you're an historian. When you look at the bigger picture, there's never been a better time to be alive. That's why I'm so incredibly optimistic about the next five years.